Bison can now end this grounded target combo with VS2. While VS2 has a lot of gimmick value in low level play, it's hard to use well against someone who knows how to react to it. This target combo doesn't do quite as much damage as his other enders from staying strong. But it does offer Bison a way to build V-meter in combos, when previously he had to take risks to build it. The V-skill won't even come out on block, you'll just be minus 8, same as before. Juggles into light scissor kick throw the opponent farther away. The patch notes explain that the devs want Bison to have to spend the EX to get better Oki's MA in these contexts. There were a few changes for Bison's EX Psycho Inferno that were hard to follow. It seems that if you get the cross-up version of Inferno, it throws the opponent farther. And the cross-up EX Inferno's last hit in VT1 creates a more lax struggle state, allowing for new follow-ups. Bison's main change is to VT1. You can now cancel all special moves to other specials, even if you don't spend EX. The meterless special cancels consume more V time than the EX cancels. But naturally, they significantly increase Bison's meterless damage. Not to mention, they let you do long VT1 combos into super. There's quite a lot of play here since the only real restriction seems to be the timer. Though do note that once you go into an EX you can't go back into a regular special. And you can't cancel the meterless version of a move into the EX version of the same move. Bison can now cancel Stomp into normal or EX specials on block or whiff. It doesn't work on hit, and Stomp is already safe, so I can't see what this would be good for besides chip killing. As for VT2, the duration of the trigger is now quite a bit shorter, though Bison's trigger special still consume the same percentage of the timer. Most of Bison's changes seem to be fairly inconsequential. The new TC means VS2 might be preferred if the opponent has no fireball or easy reactable attack to absorb. The VT1 changes are extremely cool and give Bison a lot of new play and room for creativity. My opinion of Bison hasn't changed almost since launch. He's a character with a lot of obvious strengths and weaknesses and a really interesting aggressive style.